There's a new deal that's gonna roll out and you don't wanna miss out on it. It's called Hexospark. It's an email marketing system, plus it also comes with a browser extension that's meant as an icebreaker for LinkedIn profiles. So follow me to my desktop right now. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up Hexospark so you can get started right away. Now, if you wanna grab the deal, link will be provided in the description. Now, to get started, let's head on over to our dashboard. And it might seem overwhelming in the beginning, but it's actually super easy to get started. Now, my recommendation is head on over to settings first. First thing you wanna do is add your email. You're gonna click on new account, and you have three options. You can add your Gmail from here, you have your SMTP, which would cover any custom domain, and your Outlook. So any of those three are great options to start sending out your email campaigns. So add one of these. Next thing you want to get started with is the default settings. So set this up again, straightforward. Now, once that's set up, you have an email to send out. Next thing you want to do is add your contacts. Now you might want to add them manually, or you might have them in another email marketing system and you want to send it over, or maybe you have contacts on Excel or Google Sheets, etc. Export those on CSV and you can import them from here. It's, it's super easy. Or you can add one by one or by folder. So once you have contacts added, next thing you want to do is set up your email templates. In email templates, just click on new template. You can choose from the template library, which they have an extensive library here. And depending on your use case, it could be Hexospark templates, select the category, and they'll give you examples of what you can use. For, for example, C-suite. Some of them don't have a lot of the uh, templates available, but some do have way more content marketing. Select one of the ones that you like or start from scratch, use AI generation and create something that's more uh, custom tailored to your business. So not a big thing, super easy to do. Now, once you have your email template, you're gonna view it here, okay? Next thing you wanna set up, and that's if you wanna use the browser extension for the cold outreach, which they name um, Icebreaker. That means that if you are on LinkedIn and you find a profile, there's an extension for ExoSpark, you just click on it and it's going to find the data like the name, the email, etc. For example, here it found my name, it found my email, my LinkedIn URL, my about me, my profession, website, etc. And this data is available on some of the profiles. Well, most of the profiles in LinkedIn, but not all of them, okay? So you select the campaign, select the icebreaker, you add the contact and you get started the flow, okay? To add those templates, go to icebreaker and again, new icebreaker choose an icebreaker template. There are several templates available. Select one from here or create one on your own. So once you're good to go, we have added our email, we have our templates, we have our settings, we have our contacts, and we should be able to get started with sending out a campaign, which would be the next step. For that, we'll go to campaigns. Okay, we'll start a new campaign. And we have, for example, in this case, I'll add a contact and I'll add one from an existing contact. I won't add one from CSV. And I'll select me for testing purposes. I'll go ahead and add it. Here we go. Next, we'll add the sequence. Well, which sequence do we want to use? We'll have all of them listed right here. I'll select the one that I've previously created in the templates. Let's go to settings. In settings, we're going to set out when do we want to send out. Well, first off, the email that we're going to use. So if you have several emails, select the one that you want to use to send out, right? And then we can select the time zone, the campaign schedule. We can set the schedules because maybe you don't want to send them overnight. You want to send them in between working hours and you don't want to send them on weekends, but we do want to send them from Monday through Friday. Just select what you want to enable or disable, right? The campaign duration, the if contact has missing variables fallback. So if it doesn't have a certain variable that you need to send out, you can prevent it from sending out, right? Campaign tracking settings. If you want to enable opens, link clicks, etc. here you go. And the opt-out, apply integration opt-out option, enable that. Next thing you want to do is the preview. See how it's going to look. It's going to load. There we go. Here it, it's loaded. Now I have a personalized image. I'll show you that in a bit. So here's a preview of the email that's going to be sent out. Here's a variable. It grabbed my name from the variable because that's how the template is made. And it's also grabbing the variable on the image, which I'll show you how to create that in a bit. Okay, we're good to go. I like how it looks, etc. Let's go to stats. We'll have it sent out. History hasn't been sent out. If we want to save and run, it's going to get started. And boom, the campaign has been started. And you can see when it's sent out. So if you have several emails to send out, this is where you're going to view them, okay? Now, once you have it sent out, we're going to see the analytics for each one of these. So for example, this one has a sent out and one open, okay? So let me click on it. Now we can view the stats. So we have one contact, one sent. 
It's been open 100%. Now, if you send out a bunch of them, you're going to be the you're going to view the analytics for all of these, okay? So you can view the clear analytics for open, click, replied, etc. Have all those and the history for this. For example, it's sent out, campaign started, etc. And we're going to view it here. That's how easy it is to start sending out campaigns. Now, if you want to make it more personalized and more interesting, you do want to use this, the personalized image. This is pretty cool. Now, I'll give you one example here. For example, this is an image I've just added, and I use the variable from the name to be added here. Now, from here, I can go ahead. For example, I saw on my test that it was just too small. Okay, so I'll make the text bigger. Okay, so I'll put that there. So let me show you how that looks. In the email that I've sent out, you can see here's a test email that I sent out, and this is a customized image. It grabbed the name, in this case, the first name, and it added it to the image. Now, imagine doing this with something really cool where you have a box where it has a name, maybe you have the company name also, the website, any details that you have in variables, you can add them to the image. Now, this is just for testing, but you can do it for text, you can do it for images, you can do it for logos. For example, if you have the logos of the companies, you can use it here, profile pick, and you just add it there. For example, for text, use the variable, okay? Now, where can you find the variables? In the email templates, let's go ahead and leave here. In the email templates, we're gonna see some variables. So if I go to need template, you can see there's a lot of variables here. For example, all these are variables that you can use over there on the personalized images. Now, I wish they do add that option as a drop down, so it makes it easier, so we don't have to type this in. And there's also more variables for organization, the sender, auto-generated, et cetera. But you can view those there to add them in personalized image. So the emails are sent out with personalized variables on the text plus the image that is customized. So basically that is Hexbox Smart. I mean, you can use it for your email campaigns, use it as an icebreaker for your LinkedIn, start searching around and start sending out some cold outreach with the browser extension and get started right away. Especially if you don't have contacts, this is a great way to find some contacts and start sending out those campaigns. Now, if you, follow, you want to follow me on LinkedIn, go ahead and do so. Find me here and I'll leave the link in the description. And I'll also leave the link for the deal that's going on. Don't forget to follow me, subscribe, and like this video. And let me know what you think about it in the comments. And that's a wrap.